Hey guys, Jack with Milmore Buildings. Just uh, wanted to show you real quick how I design a roof, a simple roof in SketchUp. And there's tons of different ways to do this, but this is the way I like doing it. So here we got a basic building shape, 24 by 36, I think it is here. So you can pick your pitch of your roof. Uh, in this case, it's 24 feet, so half of that's 12. 4, 12 pitch is pretty common for pole barns. So it'd be 12 times 4 is 48 inches. Grab your line tool, find your middle point by finding that blue dot. Make sure you're going along the blue axis there so it's going straight up. Type in 48 inches, enter, and that gets you your first roof peak there. You can delete out that middle line with your eraser tool. If you grab your push-pull tool, you can grab that and pull it all the way down to the other end so it's flush. Delete out that line there, and you can see it's left a gap there. So we're going to grab a line and fill that back in. Delete that out. Now we've got a nice shape, but we still don't have our overhang. So once again, grab the push-pull tool. And I normally go six inches up. Type six inches, enter. Both sides. Still looking wonky, but you'll see where we're going here in a second. Grab your line tool. Seal up that cap there. Then you'll notice down here, there's a break. Uh, where that six inches was raised, grab it from there to that point. Do that on the other side. Then you can go ahead and erase these two little lines at the peak. Grab your push tool, pull it out. I normally do 12 inches, type 12 inches enter. You can do 24 inches, whatever your um, overhang is going to be. And then we're going to go ahead on the other end. You'll notice that when I put a line across this one, it's going to seal up my ridge cap for me automatically. Once again, we're going to draw out that six inches there, delete the two lines, pull it out 12 inches, and then we just have to pull out the sides, the eaves here with our push-pull tool, 12 inches again, enter, and 12 inches. And then the final touch for this roof will be to add the uh, soffit boxes. So, You'll notice there's a nice line from where we pulled that roof out. You just grab that right there, come across, make sure it locks onto the red axis line here. You can see here. Gives you that nice box. Grab your push tool again. Slide that all the way down to the other end. And you've got your box built in there. Once again on the other side, a little closer here. Pull that box across, make sure it locks in level at the red line there. Grab your push-pull tool, slot, click it, slide it all the way down, match it up with the other end, and there you have a simple roof, but accurate 412 pitch. I've got that uh, six inch roof. You can make it whatever depth you want to. You can make those overhangs as deep as you want to as well. Hope that's helpful to you guys. If you got any questions or a better way of doing this, let me know. I'm interested to hear.